punishing cold, frigid wind, relentless ice and snow. If you live in the Northeast, you may still be haunted by last winter's miserable weather. But don't be fooled into thinking that those brutal cold spells were evidence against climate change. In fact, they may actually be a symptom of it. Here's why. Circling the North Pole is a rotating current of super cold air called a polar vortex. Normally, the polar vortex is held in place over the Arctic by a strong polar wind system, or jet, which acts like an invisible fence that prevents that icy air from escaping the polar vortex and reaching warm southern latitudes. But climate change is melting Arctic sea ice. Less ice means a warmer North Pole, which means less of a temperature difference between the pole and the rest of the planet. This weakens the invisible fence of the polar jet, allowing the polar vortex to slip southward. That's why the Northeast shivered through last winter, while the rest of the globe was actually unusually warm. And the more our planet heats up, the more likely it is that the polar vortex will visit the lower 48 states in the future. It's yet another example of how climate change disrupts the normal weather patterns as we know them. And as winters get colder and summers get hotter, it becomes more difficult for wildlife to weather the extremes. And many species, like caribou, polar bears, puffins, and pika, are already suffering from the effects of climate change right now. Global warming doesn't just bring extreme heat. It can bring intense cold as well. All the more reason to protect our vital natural lands and to prepare humans and wildlife for the effects of climate change.